are back with the not so very challenge in the sims 4 the not so very challenge is a 10 generation legacy challenge with color coded generations with unique requirements and we are finally a teenager with ruby i am going to just put up ruby's requirements on the screen because we we, we went through them last episode we'll go through them again and i don't want to spend a lot of time on it i want to get going it's six o'clock we have school in two hours so let's get this girl's needs up because we are going to school with ruby all right. Looks like our worst needs are bladder, hunger, and fun. So use that. Oh, that's right. It's love day, which ties in pretty well with the serial romantic aspiration, which will call for us to have a boyfriend or girlfriend and go on two dates first. Meantime... After you use the restroom, you're going to grab some breakfast. Hey, Jade. Oh, why are you, why is your work already lit up? We never did find a second neighbor. Well, alas. Burn, what's wrong with you? You need fun and you're burned out. Sorry about that. Jade, you literally just ate. Stop. No, don't eat another one. You... Alright. Let's go to class with Ruby. And we will see what kind of chaos is in the house when we get back. That's quite the stance. Okay, we need to learn about the new school from the principal. It is the first day at school. I think after the school day... I am going to go grab one of the other high schools off of the gallery. I don't think I'm going to build one. I think I'm just going to go the easy route. Like James Turner did a really, really pretty one. I'm, I'll probably just grab the Jade and just Turner High School. But uh, yeah, this, this high school is both hideous and way too big. And it takes too far to get from point A to point B. Bay Prescott, you, you work with my mother. How are you here? I told you guys she was the principal. But anyway, um, that will be fixed either after school today or between episodes. Let's see how much of the morning period tasks we can get through today. Because we do want to do good at school. And get into a good college. We're going to go to college, I've decided. Learn about new school. Boom. Who are you? You are one of the teachers. Shania Anand. Welcome to Copperdale High School, Miss LeHue. I hope you ha settle in without too much trouble. We have two periods, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Otherwise, we give our students the freedom to interact and socialize with their peers and to study at their own pace. You'll be in class one and you should go find your teacher and say hello. How convenient. She's right there. Keep in mind there are exams every Friday. You can find your way to a computer to study for your exams or even just pull out your notes and prep that way. Our faculty will also hold study sessions after school on Wednesdays. Good to know, but first we need to claim a locker. Uh, boom, claim locker ownership. Extricate yourself from this conversation. Maybe I should have picked one of the lockers closer to the principal's office. Uh, talk to teacher about curriculum. Yeah, I really should have picked one closer to the principal's office. Oh, well. Um, talk to teacher about curriculum. Oh, hey, Marcus called us to say happy birthday. Oh, oh well. It's as far as we get in the morning stuff. And we have to try to meet other students because it is love day. And we are going to try to find a date for Love Day. We need an attractive sim. Hunter Volkov. Look up. Volkov. Isn't that one of the names from the werewolf pack? Are you a werewolf? Look up from your phone so I can tell if you're pretty. Oh, he's pretty. She's pretty, too. Jared Landgrab? Well, we'll find out his traits. I mean, 
no, 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 no. Attend class. It's exam day? Our first day of high school is exam day? Oh, no. Also, we're totally introducing ourselves to Jared Landgrab. He's a Landgrab. He has money. We're going into politics. It's synergy. It is lunch. And, oh, be friendly with a student. Come back here, Jared. Let's be friendly with Jared. Come on. Come on, girl. Go. Leave the desk. Okay. Thank you. Are we hungry? I know our fun is... Okay, we're good for food until we get home. Should we join an after-school activity? Because there's, like, chess and... Let's do a get-to-know. You have to study for exams. We'll get, we'll get there. We got two hours. We got plenty of time. Cheerful. <gasps> Ooh. Can I get a second one? No, don't walk away, don't walk away. Stop. Madam. Okay. We don't know him well enough for a deep conversation. And get to know his despawned. How do we study for exams? Click on a computer, bookshelf, or yourself and select study for exam. Let's study for our exam. I know you want amusement. There'll be time enough for that after school. But I think, I think we're going to flirt with Jared Landgrab. He was definitely the prettiest boy in our first period class. <gasps> Is he coming back to, he's studying at the table. Let's, let's sit down with Jared. Ooh, and we completed our, let's do just, Let's do a teeny tiny little flirt and see how it lands. Oh, that was pretty positive. Let's see. I can discuss interests. Oh, he left his notebook behind. Where did he go? Oh, he left. How could he? I think we can get to where we could get a date out of Jared for a love day tonight. May not be the most spectacular date, but I think we can get there. Unless he's gay, because Sims can be gay now. They used to be ob obligatorily bisexual, but now they can actually have sexual preferences, and I have had a Sim get turned down because they were the wrong gender before. So he became her gay bestie and he was her maid of honor at her wedding. It was great. Let's introduce ourselves to all of these lovely young ladies at this table. Because we need, we need friends. And the game has, like, given us, like, our textbook high school drama friend group. Stop studying for exams and go to class. Okay. I don't think it's going to let us introduce ourselves to anybody else. Because we got to go to class. But we did meet... Oh, we actually have... Uh... Janelle and Catalea. Oh, good compatibility with Catalea. Oh, do we have good compatibility? <gasps> we have good compatibility with Jared. I think I have just picked. Is Jared the man we leave at the altar? Because science babies are expensive. So I think we might be doing it the natural way this generation and we'll swing around no don't go nap on a bench you're in the middle of an exam multiple questions have come up on the exam about the classes assigned reading the book centered around the narrative of sims 
that could mysteriously live forever and never age. There are specific questions about the plot, characters, and ending. In essay format, write about the key themes and provide examples from the book that support those themes. Okay, we have been writing in our journal since we were little. We should have a decent writing slash creativity skill. Or not. That's a little sad. But we did get a skill-based exam boost. No, stop trying to go nap. Take your exam. Miss. I know you're sleepy and you need fun. Okay. We're an A student, which is cool. I will look at the exam report in a minute. Oh, we just changed clothes. All right, let's, let's chat with Jared. Oh, we do not like Juniko. Okay. We can discuss logic puzzles, obsess about our favorite celebrity. Let's, let's just have a, what do we have in our inventory? Do we have anything we can give him as a love day gift? We have Parmesan. Let's do another little flirt that might get awkward because Unique is in the conversation with us, but we are focused on Jared. <gasps> He's a geek. And cheerful. That is so cute. Okay, let's... Let's give props. Oh, we have a crush on Jared. Oh, he's got a little hearts. Come on, give me that pink bar. So I can ask him on a date for love day. Can I give him a rose? I can offer him a rose! Oh, we have a pink bar! We have a pink bar! Come on, give him, give him the flower. Give him the, give him the, give him the flower. Ruby. Offer him a rose. going so well. All right, let's ask him on like a super cash friend date. Never mind that there's no way in the Sims for us to tell our moms why we aren't home or coming home yet, even though school's been over for two hours. Don't worry about it. Be insulted by Junko. Let's just not. Yes! Okay, that went way smoother than I expected it to. Are we rushing things? Maybe. Do we care? Not really. We're in Copperdale because this is where the high school is. There is the bubble tea thrift store. And I'm thinking we might want to go to the uh pier because there's like carnival rides and stuff and it's supposed to be like a chill friend thing but that isn't a lot so we would have to go to the park let's go to the park because if we go on a date to the park then we can access the pier and there's like ice cream stands and there's a ferris wheel okay We need to sit and talk with our date and flirt with our date while flirty. So let's try a pickup line. And while you are doing that, let's select somewhere we can sit. So let's sit together here on that bench. Oh, it landed! <laughs> A suggestive conversation and he's flirty? 
we're sitting together, right? Nope, no, 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 we are... He left? Where is he? Focus the camera. Okay. So he is headed to the pier with us. Let's sit together. Do not go home. She was returning to the park because that's the active lot. Oh, there's there's that celebrity Marcus is friends with again. Are you stalking my family? Okay. Oh, cool. We're we're flirty. We're flirty. So let's do a flirt. Let's do a sexy pose. And do flirt. We can give him... Um, that earring is a choice. Okay. Offer a massage. Can I not give my date a massage? Okay, well, let's tell him a story. Because apparently you can't give a massage as a teenager. Tell an engaging story. Mom's calling us. Uh, have you heard of something? called the motive uh I'm a teenager I said that was a call from mom oh look deeply in eyes that's cute oh deep conversations She keeps trying to go back to the park because that's the active lot. It's like the the downside of the pier is they didn't make it a lot. So your sim keeps trying to go back because it's confused about where it is. Let's compliment his outfit. Except for the earrings. He looks really good. Those are just huge earrings. Okay, let's have a second deep conversation. And I say if asks to be boyfriend comes up, we take it. But we don't seek that yet. Okay. Yay, we have a gold medal date. Do we have the option? No, stop doing that. I'm pausing to hold you still. Can we try for first kiss? We can embrace. Oh no, Jasper's mad. Oh, that's so cute. Give props. Or we could pass out. Let's just queue up a flirt. Let's ask about his mess around interests. No, don't. Don't leave. Don't leave me. <laughs> on the one hand it's a gold medal date on the other hand our date just ran away after we passed out because <laughs> now he's returning to active lot oh how hungry are we oh our needs are bad is there a restroom because i don't want to wet my yes there's a bathroom I do not want to wet myself on a date. That does not sound like fun. How is our fun so bad? It's almost Esther's birthday. I know. Let's. All right. Where where did Jared go? He is using the bathroom. All right. Can we? He's too far away to call over. Time remaining an hour. Let's end the date early. We can't do this interaction. We've got a gold medal date and it's almost 10 o'clock on a school night. Let's let's end the date. Date complete. Gold medal earned. Awesome. Let's switch control to Fern and bring Ruby home that way. Then we'll bring Ruby here. Okay, Fern. Why are you... You're fine now. You need a bath. 
Wait, Ruby? Phew. You are having a bad time. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. You know, we'll let her sleep while the other parents are on the date. All right. Fern, ask your wife on a date. Do not hit the... I really messed up when I didn't really give him toys on this floor. Oops. And then I think his birthday is tomorrow, which means he'll be a kid. <sighs> Let's go to a lounge. Let's go to the solar flare. There's a bar there. We can get drinks. It has live music sometimes. Offer your wife a rose. If you can, it doesn't always spawn as an interaction. It's late spring. Why don't you kiss under that mistletoe? Yeah, we can't just offer a rose. But we have lots of flowers in our inventory. So we can give one of those to Jade as a love day gift. And that counts as giving flowers. Holly is technically a flower, but don't we have like... Chris yeah, we got chrysanthemums. Looks like we're getting low on flowers. Let's give our beloved wife a chrysanthemum. How are you doing on... Oh, cool. We got past 3,000 satisfaction points so we can get her carefree and not be tense anymore. So handy. All right. Now... We have, and go on a date. We are currently on a date. Let's suave kiss. And then we'll check where Jade is on her love day stuff. Because she should also be at the same place, but sometimes it doesn't tick off when you're controlling a different sim. All right, Jade, how's your love day looking? Yeah. So, we are going to smooch your wife, and then we're going to give her back that chrysanthemum she just gave you. And then you'll both have the first two ticked off for your love day. Alright, let's go sit and talk to our date. Sit and chat here. What's this lady walking in with us? She's really pretty and I like her, or just her style. This means they're Vita. Her symptoms become playful at the same time. Let's tickle. You should be able to give your date a massage because you are a grown-up. Oh, Fern is hungry. We should feed her. I don't know what bar food she can eat. Give your date a massage. I demand it. Offer massage. As soon as this takes over to gold, we're ending it, though. This is one in the morning. We might not make it up to gold before love day is over. Okay. Perfect. End the date early. Good time was had by all. Go home. Alright, let's switch control to Ruby. Because she still has to get her needs up and do her homework, even if it is almost 2 a.m. But that should be a successful love day for everybody. All right. Bring Fern here. Bring Jade here. How are you doing, girly? Okay, you got some sleep. You're working on your phone. Okay. Clean that up for your moms because you're babysitting. Is this unspoiled? Awesome. Eat this aubergine parmesan. And throw out the one you put in your pocket. And everybody... 
Everybody's having a perfect love day. Awesome. How is little Jasper? No, you're not going to hit the unicorn. Play with a toy. Play with the moon panda. You actually look pretty good. And triple checking because your birthday is today. Oof, we did not get him up to level three. But his needs are good. I'm going to do terrible things to this baby in the middle of the night while everyone else is asleep. Uh, your bladder and your fun are bad. So go ahead and we'll just have you watch some TV. Right. Your imagination is at three. So we'll just let you play real quick to get your fun up a little bit. You don't need to get terribly far up. It's about two thirds full. Awesome. Go talk to your sister. Hit, fight, roughhouse. Talk about princesses. Talk about superheroes. Hug lovingly. We're not going to bite your sister. I just threw out that plate and it turned into a pile of ash. We'll worry about that in a minute. Just going to get over that bar to level three. And then we'll have Ruby clean up that pile of ash and go to bed. It's the weekend. She can do her homework. Later. Yeah, those, those prompts should get us over the line. Three, two, one. Level three. Perfect. We're good. Ruby, clean that up because it won't let me. And you... Play in that. Play in that. What's that? We are just gonna think at everything. Hey girl, how's your fun? Your fun's good? Great. We don't care about the TV anymore. Empty the trash. You're not sleeping in the in the tree. It's 5 a.m. and no one the kids haven't gone to bed yet. That's hilarious to me. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's see if we can get this done before... Ooh, we're only at 20%. And he has to pee already. Well, we'll let his have to pee turn orange. We still have the blocks. So those are good for thinking skill, too. Mm, I don't see them. Sad. Because you have to go pee. Go potty. Oh, he's hungry and tired, too. I'm going to see if we still have those blocks in our inventory, because those are good for thinking, too. Because then he could go, he could f eat, and then Jade could help him with stacking. And that will, or help him with shapes. And that will go even faster. I mean, heck, if we still don't have them in the inventory, there. Excellent. You. Shapes. Oh. Study shape help from Fern. Oh, not from Fern. Fern is eating. Study shape help from Jade. This is the fastest way I know how to do this. <gasps> Girl, change out of here. Change it to like day clothes. Your crush is here. He just walked in without talking to anybody. Jared Landgrab wants to go to prom with Ruby. Like you? Does she want to go? Of course I want to go to prom with you. We have a prom date! Why are we sad? Oh, our crush is feeling bad? Okay. As much as I want to get into this, it is 9 a.m., and our brother's birthday and we need to get him level three thinking so we can age him up but we we will first kiss tonight at prom but he needs to go i feel really really bad about it but we have priorities is he still a picky eater or was that just a infant thing um 
No, oh, he's still a picky eater. Okay, he's at movement level three. He's got everything but thinking there. Ruby? Go back to bed. For now. We will have him go down for a nap after he eats. Sleep? We'll have him go down till about noonish. He only ate about half of it. That's fine. How are you, Fern? You have to pee and shower. These are things you could have done for yourself. I'm very disappointed in you. All right, Jade also has to pee and shower. So we'll have her use the upstairs bathroom after we're done lagging. The moment he is like an orange. Back on the thinking. Because I just got Fern and Jade's needs up. They can handle themselves. And Ruby is going to be out late again, so she needs her sleep. She'll be able to eat, if need be, she'll be able to eat at prom. And she might get invited to some of the pre-parties. Which is a thing that Sims has. I just want this boy level 3 of thinking. Oh, that was so sweet. Alright, you're in the yellow. Shape help. They get sleepy so fast. Oh, Ruby's getting a phone call. We're having a little get together before prom. Oh, I can't risk. I can't risk it. Ruby doesn't age up into a young adult for another two and a half weeks. She will have two other proms. This one doesn't have to be perfect. I feel so bad. Yes, yes, you're very angry. I'm really sorry. Uh, no. We can't go out, Marcus. We might. No, we're not throwing a tantrum. We don't have time. Come on, sweetie. We're 57%. I believe in you. I have no idea what time prom is. Oh, God. The tension is eating me. 61%. Come on. Come on, Mama, help me with these shapes. And we're just going to keep it queued up so he doesn't have time to do anything else. Oh, it's almost 6 o'clock. What time is prom? 77, 78. <sighs> Come on. Travel to prom with Ruby. I think prom ends at 11. So we have until 2 a.m. to get Jasper aged up before he ages himself up and has sad moodlets. So we can have Fern make the cake while Jade helps him with his blocks and gets his thinking up because he was at like 80%. And I mean, he should be sleeping now, right? So we need to have an awesome prom. Let's vote for prom royalty. Can we vote for ourselves? Well, I mean, of course we're going to vote for Jared. And then we'll grab some punch. Are you glitched, girl? That was a lot. Oh, we keep getting blocked by people voting. Well, we'll just keep trying. Okay, put your drink down. We'll do a quick restroom break. Because you gots to go. There's Jared. He looks so nice. We'll catch him while we're eating. What do we want? There's roast chicken. There's gulab jamun. I don't know what that is. Sausage and peppers. Mutton biryani. Yeah, that's what I would have picked too. Okay. No, no, sit here so we can talk to Jarrett. What? No. Where'd he go? And our food disappeared. All right. Grab a serving of mutton biryani. Actually eat it. Vote for prom jester. Uh, 
Star Blakely was doing something weird when we came in. Vote for Prom Jester. Star. The award ceremony is starting? Can we show off our outfit while... Hmm, I have no idea where show off your outfit is. Oh gee, the people we voted for won. I wonder if we can make prom royalty by refraining from voting next time. Let's sweetheart dance with Jared. Uh, I can't. I can't. It's my little brother's birthday. We were going to first kiss him at prom. <sighs> you win some, you lose some. All right. So, you. Shape help. Jade Fern. Make a birthday cake. We can do this. They believe in us. What kind of cake do we want for our little man? Let's do a blue confetti cake. Because he's our mint baby. I know you are very reasonably upset. Alright. If they won't help you, just do shapes. If Jade is being a problem, we won't wait for her. Fern, put birthday candles on that before somebody takes a piece. We will do this until he hits three or one thirty, whichever comes first. Because I'm not going to risk him. It is better that he has a slightly less good boost than. Oh no, not your emotional control. We can't risk it. Fern, help blow out candles to our little Jasper. Jade, come out here. Ruby, come over here. We're going to celebrate this baby as a family. Stop watching TV. Where is there a vampire and a rando in our house? The heckity? What? That... That was weird. Happy birthday, Jasper. I'm gonna pick some random numbers for this young man. Alright, that is a two. So he is going to go for the mental aspiration. Let's see, randomly select a uh, child of an island of the islands is not going to be fun for him. Loner, you're in a family of four, kiddo. Geek, perfect. Okay, so I think we're going to call this one here for a variety of reasons. First. I have to completely rebuild Jasper's room. But I think that we got a lot done today with our girl. We have gone on our first date. So we have already taken a step toward our goals. And we're level two of charisma. Everything is going to be amazing forever from here on out. That was so cute. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to redecorate Jasper's room, change out the high school for a prettier one, and give Jasper his minty kid makeover. And, and I have been Edith Ivy. Thank you so much for joining me with the Not So Berry Challenge. I appreciate 
each and every one of you so much. Have a happy time zone wherever you are in the world. And if you have liked this comment, please like, comment, subscribe, maybe even ring that notification bell. And I will see you next time. Thank you.